Now we will talk about automation and control course. It divides to two sections. The first section is concerned on the CNC machine, uh, and the other is concerned on the BLC machine. At the first, uh, I will introduce the meaning of uh, the numerical control. As we know, the numerical control is widely used in the industrial today. So uh, the numerical control is, uh, enables an operator to communicate uh, with machine tools through a series of numbers and symbols. At the enter of a computer to NC, it uh, quickly become a computer in numerical control. And it is uh, brought a huge uh, change to the metal working industry. <coughs> Sorry. And that bring uh, an advantage to the industrial field uh, so that the same bar can re be reproduced to the same degree of accuracy any number of times with high speed, high accuracy, high efficiency, and repeatability. So we believe that uh, this course, this training course, uh, the, have, uh, the, the course output we will talk about, uh, the ever-increasing use of CNC in industry has created a need of personnel who are knowledgeable about and capable of preparing the program, which guides the machine tools to produce parts to the required shape and accuracy. So after the completion of this course, the trainee will have the basic knowledge about CNC machine programming and operations. Uh, we designed the course to cover these uh, subjects. At the first, we will give an introduction to CNC machines, and we will talk about Cartesian coordinate system, and then distinguish between lathe and mill CNC machines. And after that, we will talking about the programming systems used in CNC, and what the type <coughs> of machine tool movement in the CNC machine, and the programming language used in the CNC, and at the end of the course, we will <coughs> give a quick introduction to the computer integrated manufacture uh, software. We will use in the, our case the CATIA program. At the first, let's go, to go uh, to into the details of the course. We will uh, talking about the co Cartesian coordinate system. So to understand the Cartesian coordinate system is essential for understand the, uh, understanding the machine tool movement used in the producing a product. And there are two types of movement in CNC machines, point to point and continuous path. Uh, we will uh, explain it in the following slide. Uh, at the fair, the basic uh, CNC machine that will uh, explain it is the lathe machine and the milling machine. The lathe machine is a uh, machine using to produce uh, round bars, and it consists of two axes, Z and X axis. And in the milling machine, it consists of uh, three axes, and it's used to produce a different kind of bars. And uh, the programming system, there are two programming system, uh, systems in CNC machine. The first is the incremental, and the second is absolute. And in the incremental, uh, programming system, uh, we define the tool path uh, according uh, to relative coordinate system. And in the absolute coordinate system, uh, we will define the tool movement relative to the fixed coordinate system. And the path system <coughs> will be used in the same program. Uh, and uh, about the machine tool movement, there are two types of movement, as we, uh, as we said. Uh, the first is point to point or positioning, and the second, the continuous path or contouring. In the point to point, we tell the, the machine to go from one point to another, and the machine will uh, make a linear interpolation, interpolation between two, uh, two, two, two points. And in the continuous path or contouring, the tool uh, will follow a specific path or a uh, defined path. The programming language used in uh, CNC is a G, uh, a G code or C, uh, G, C, G programming language. It's simply, the G code is simply a language which people tell computerized 
machine tools, what to make and how to make it. Uh, here is uh, some example for the G code. At the first, we look at G00 is a rapid traverse, G01 a linear interpolation, G02 is a circular interpolation clockwise, G03 circular interpolation counterclockwise. Here are an examples for uh, G codes. Uh, the G code not only have uh, G codes, it's only have um, M codes, which is a miscellaneous function, feed, uh, speed, uh, diameter offset, tool number, etc. And here are also an example for uh, miscellaneous codes, uh, as you say in the picture. At the end of the, 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 this course, we will give a case study to the student uh, to, to make a program to make a product like this We're using a, simul a simulation program because we don't have a CNC machine right here in the university. Uh, so we will, after that, give an introduction to the computer-aided manufacturer which can produce a product uh, using computer. And we will use uh, the CATIA uh, NC milling and Turing workbench. And the student will taught to define and manage <coughs> mill turn machining application and explore CATIA version 5 capacity, ca capacity such as machining operations, parameter and transition path and tool path customization. And the user will be trained to develop and use CATIA version 5 to create NC manufacturing programs or go to Bristol.